The engine artifact found on the surface of Mars that could overturn information and data if it is real. And I'm also going to show you various uh, NASA clips from the Curiosity, the gigapan of what are things that are out of this world. They seem to be constructed. So this engine, the first thing that skeptics of the world could comment on is that it's a paradox, but it could also be a reality, something that everyone can judge as they perceive it. Now, we know that uh, the Emerald Tablets of uh, written by Thoth the Atlantean, and you'll find a playlist on my videos concerning that. Uh, there's about uh, 42 books of that, and Thoth the Atlantean describes how they had interstellar travel and interdimensional travel, and they were abusing their knowledge. Uh, they were told by God not to do so, and they did, and he says he believed it was a, a matter of time before divine intervention would put an end to them. Uh, he did say, though, in those emerald tablets that a few Atlanteans knew that it was coming and that they went to other continents and set up uh, new cities with pyramids, etc., and high technology. And they also said that they had exiled a general and his entourage to the planet Mars, where he was buried eventually under a face on Mars and his generals under the pyramids near the face on Mars. Okay, and these emerald tablets were written thousands of years ago. That's just for you to have in the back of your mind. It's a very nice discussion point if you if you listen to those videos. Now, Scott C. Waring, independent researcher, among others, who's uncovered many strange objects on Mars. Most of them have something to remind us of, of the structures and life forms we're familiar with today on our Earth. Many times these findings that he brings to the fore make our imagine rise to many levels. This time he spotted an object on Gigapan in the Curiosity rover of Mars photos, images, he mentioned it looks like some kind of propulsion engine and compares it to a jet engine. And as he explains, if we remove the cables and small tubes and a few small things in the real engine, we might perhaps find that the strange objects on the surface of Mars is indeed an engine, for an engine from a supposed jet that from, for some unknown reason was exposed there a few thousand years ago. The object appears very old, sunken, as, uh, and has a layer of dust on it, but it still stands out clearly from the other objects in the area, and uh, we're going to pan them. You're going to be amazed. They do look constructed, and they do look parts of some kind of a structure. Uh, also, from the surrounding environment in general, it could be proved that aliens on Mars had engines much more advanced than ours. Let's remember the uh, Abydos uh, Temple of uh, Ancient Egypt. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. That was a temple constructed thousands of years ago, and yet it had images of uh, submarines, helicopters, jet airplanes, tanks, whatever. Uh, how, and, uh, of course, one of the last pharaohs of Egypt, Nectanebo, ordered that various temples be destroyed, but not that one, because he said that is the area where the actual overlords of Egypt came and landed fr from the heavens. Now, um, concerning these uh, Mars objects, uh, if uh, it, these are proof that aliens on Mars had engines much more advanced than ours, engines without cables, and microtechnology integrated directly into the structures of the object, you can imagine what those implications could be. Now, in the same area, there's something reminiscent of a statue leg, which was apparently broken, thrown, and long distance from its actual location. In the description, he makes the, throughout the video, looking at the photo from Gigapan, bit by bit, Waring sees several things, and we're going to see them too, uh, that my mind is of something, such as faces, and in one, in fact, he says, characteristically states, looks very much like the head of an alien in the ID4 movie, but the nose and mouth appears to be broken off. But we'll dwell on that object, and supposedly it could be an engine, always taking into account the possibility this could be something paridolia that looks like it. Now, a misunderstanding that our mind makes when recognizing familiar things in objects because they seem familiar to it. Now, let's go to the Gigapan and uh, by Curiosity Rover, and you'll be amazed what we find. Let's go to that now. Okay, so here we are, Curiosity, riding the ruins. Curiosity SOL 
735, Keith Laney. And uh, this is one of the things that I, well, panning all across it. Look at this. Let's go closer. And let's keep an eye on this thing here, too. Uh, that doesn't that doesn't even seem that it's what is that that looks to me as if it's a kind of a handle uh, these things here are exactly these are straight lines parallel to each other these seem to be two grooves or something uh, raising raised up from this area uh, and it's totally triangular uh, rectangular as you can see so we go in in more it doesn't go in more okay uh, let's go this way sorry let's go this way pull out okay could even see that they're a different color than the sand all right that's the end of it let's just uh, pan over this way Strange the way these things are cut. Okay, the sand's there rippling. All right. Okay, let's go back towards the other areas. Okay. Pan out again so that we can see it more. Okay. This way, let's take a look at this. What is this? Strange. Okay. What could have taken place here? Put pan out again. Look at this thing. Strange the way it's cut. Um, okay. It looks like it's a ruin, a ruined area. I mean, do we have do we have geological formations that have things like this? this another rectangular thing. It looks like it's some kind of a dried up metal structure. Okay. Panning out again. Panning out. Strange. What is this? <laughs> What is that? Doesn't go in more, but is it? That's very strange. What is that thing? Very strange. Something attached to it.
Okay, you must be bored already, but there it is again. Very strange. Layers stuck together. Some kind of a conglomerate of, 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 of tight, tightly bound rocks. Okay. Panning out again. Anyway, I'm sure you're uh, you're very bored with me already, but strange thing cut off there. And that's just sitting there by itself in a very strange angle. Strange. It's shadow falling this way. And another area, this again with the grooves, the parallel grooves. Strange. Strange artifacts. And then you have these things here, which are very slim things. What is that? Let's go in here. All these seem to be sedimentary rocks. Mm -hmm. So I'll let you play around with this. Uh, you can look at whatever you want to find here. Curiosity SOL 735. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.